How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to fix a ThinkPad. It's a T530. As you can see right here, it's got a busted LCD screen. We're gonna replace this panel. It should be a pretty easy fix. A lot of ThinkPads are very similar when it comes to the moduality of how parts kind of are replaceable, which is really awesome. I really love the designs of Lenovo's because of that. Uh, it should be a fairly easy fix for this model and very similar fix for other models. So what we're gonna need is the computer. We're gonna need a screwdriver set. This I got from Walmart. They're also available on Amazon if you want that. We'll put a link to it in the description if you are interested in this. I use it almost every time I do repairs. It's got a bunch of different bits in it and it's just really nice to have. And they're not that expensive. You're going to need a new LCD or new to me. That one's actually used. Uh, that screen I actually paid $23.99 off of eBay. I did a Google search for T530 screens found a model number, did a model number, and as you can see in the, and also in the description, it doesn't say what model it's for, so I got it a little bit cheaper than a listing that would have said specifically for a T530. A very inexpensive repair and should be pretty quick. But before we get into it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already a subscriber to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions about the repair, leave them in the comment section and let's get into the repair. And just so you know, I've never done this exact repair on this exact model. I have done LCD repairs on other computers, but not this specific one. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is get out a flathead bit and I'm gonna pry up what looks to be two little things right here in the corner, which should have a screw underneath it, which it does. There are two of them. I'm gonna set them to the side, adhesive side up, to try to preserve as much of that adhesive as possible. We'll put them right side up. Well, I should probably turn off the computer, so we're gonna do that right now. Shut down anyways, and then we're also going to remove the battery, which I should have done before, but we're doing it now instead. We'll take that battery out just to remove all power to the device. Now we're going to switch from our flathead to a Phillips head. This is a Phillips double zero. And we're gonna take out these two bottom Phillips head screws. Set those guys to the side so you don't lose them. And now this bezel should come off fairly easy. There we go. I'm kind of just like wiggling it with my hands from both angles and it's coming off pretty stinking easily. Oh, there's one more that I didn't see. One more screw in the middle. So let's get that off. It was hiding. I just didn't really think about it. Didn't really see it. This little guy was hiding. Okay. Now we should be able to lift the bezel off. Bam, very easy. Now we're kind of looking to see how the LCD is held in. Looks like definitely two screws at the top, uh, brackets on the side that kind of hold it in, and then maybe these hinges at the bottom. Yeah, these hinges at the bottom, I think will have to come out. Then we should be able to lift out the bracket assembly. We're gonna put these screws if they're the same size, which they are, to the side. So that was literally just four screws. Uh, the back of the computer kind of just like flopped down. I see there's a screw on the top of the bracket right here. There's also a screw on the bottom of the bracket right there, both on the left and the right side of the LCD. So I'm going to try to remove those. They are also Phillips head and they are silver and we're gonna put all those in the same area because they are the same size. And I think that's it. That was just, what, three, seven, 11 screws, and then this is already out. Look how easy they make, Lenovo makes this. Whenever you get a new display in the mail, you wanna check it for dark spots and cracks right when you get it out. So you can make a claim with the, the, the seller or with USPS, whoever shipped it, 
that it came broken rather than somebody rather than somebody claiming that it was a misinstallation because I have had that happen before where I didn't notice that it was cracked until I was installing it and then he claimed that I broke it installing it when that wasn't the case it actually came broken but anyways we're gonna take off this display cable it's got some adhesive on it but it kind of just it's got some tape it kind of just lifts out Put the broken to the side. Get the new one in. Looks like it just slides in there. Just like how the old one came out. I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna lean it back. I'm gonna put the four silver bracket screws in to give it some, some stability. Two screws on the top, two screws on the bottom to install the LCD on the bracket. The old LCD, for anyone that needs a reference, um, there's your model number. It was a B156XTN02.1. Uh, that's what I took out of it. The one that I got off of eBay, if you wanna know again, was an LG LP156WD1TLB2 for this specific laptop. Um, now that the brackets are installed on the LCD, I'm gonna screw them into the back panel, which is just these four screws. The LCD and the, assemb uh, the LCD and that frame Four screws, two in the top, two in the bottom, and it's the inner screws in the top. And these two other screw holes are gonna be on the bezel on the outside. Bezel's going on, and you're just gonna press it down and kind of work your way. You'll hear some clicking, just pressing it down. And then three more screws. And then those uh, little pieces, those little screw covers that we took off earlier, we're gonna put those back. Hopefully the adhesive is still good enough to reassemble. And that just adds the last finishing touches. Now we're going to put the battery back in and turn it on to make sure that the LCD's working. You can put the battery in earlier if you wanna double check just to make sure everything works, but I'm pretty confident that this will turn on and work perfectly fine. And as you can see, that's what we're looking at. Bam, look at that. Uh, the wavy lines are just on the camera. It doesn't look like that in person, but that is the LCD repair. I really just wanna put this information out there. It's not that hard. Once you get the right part number, model number, you can buy a used part off of eBay, put a little work into it. This was 11 screws, an eBay part, about 15 minutes of time. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the repair, put them in the comment section and I will talk to you in the next video. One more computer saved from the trash. Bye.